Because his friends were very wealthy, at the end of the meal they went around offering wine to him. And they put one glass in front of him. He was only 15 years old at this time. 15 years old. And his friends saying, drink, drink, come on, let's enjoy. And he's about to touch the glass, and he is the voice from the glass. He said, Muhammad. You have not been created for this. What are you doing with this mountain? <coughs> so he left the majlis and he went into a graveyard. And he found a disused grave and started meditating. He started in Khalwa, seclusion, in that grave. And he stayed there for some time. In that grave, he had many, many spiritual visions. One of those visions is he saw Jesus, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, and Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam. Three prophets who are the major figures in three major religions of the world. He saw all three of them. Each one of the prophets gave him a gift, gave him a teaching. From Isa alayhi salam, he learned to renounce the world, have no attachment for dunya. Because this is a quality of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. From Musa alayhi salam, he attained kashaf, <coughs> which is unveiling that you begin to see reality, what Musa alayhi salam saw on the Mount of Sinai. 
and from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he received compassion. Because this is something that Allah says about the Prophet that we have not sent the but as mercy for the universe. <coughs> so from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he received the gift of compassion. And following this vision, he began to study with the teachers, Shayyuk, with the scholars of the area. One of his teachers was a lady called Lady Fatima. She was in her 90s, very pious lady. He used to attend her majlis with his mother. And he says about this lady that she was so beautiful at that age that you could not look at her face. Such was the nur on her face, you could not look at her face. And out of all the students who came to her thus, she loved Sheikh Mujuddin more than anyone. She said, when Ibn Arabi comes, he comes fully. When he stands, he stands fully. When he sits, he sits fully, which means he's focused. For some people, they find it very difficult to focus, but she was saying about Sheikh Ibn Arabi, that he's always focused and he receives so much blessing from these gatherings. And the first Sufi master he started following was Sheikh Abu Jafar al Uriyani of the Allah Anna. This master, he was a illiterate person, very simple person, didn't have the qualification of scholars, <coughs> but when he spoke about God, he knew he was connected. And this is the situation now. We have experts of everything, there's no experts of God. <coughs> People know about every topic under the sun. And I hear some of those people and listen to them, you want to jump off a cliff. Full of useless information, but nobody knows their own creator, their God. But this person, Shaykh al Uriyani, when he spoke about God, he knew what he was talking about. In the Holy Quran, it says, Ar Rahman Fas Al Bihi Khabir. The merciful one, Allah, asks someone who knows him. <coughs> you find experts on every topic on the sun, but when it comes to God, there are very few experts. So after this, he stayed with the Sheikh and learned so much good manners from him. The Sheikh, Sheikh al Yani, he was a generous soul, he was a kind person always taught good manners. This was the beginning. And later, he moved on to many shuyuk, and one of the persons who met the same figure 